This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So now let me share my screen. Okay. So what is data view? Data view and end. What is data view? Why we need this data view? Okay. Till last classes we have seen like uh, uh, like many things like we, we are able to do some transformations like some keeping payload right keeping keeping as a payload like we have created we have created like say, say whatever the applications we have created in those applications we have <coughs> mapped everything right so data view versions are different actually it is different for mule 3 and mule 4 okay so in mule 3 and mule 4 the data view version is different in mule 3 it is something like data view 1.0 version and with mule 4 it is 2.0 version so what is this actually what is this is nothing but whenever a source system message is uh, we have to uh, like source system is there source system some siebel right siebel is there and my target system is target system is SAP so whatever the source system is sending it not it might not be understandable by target system and whatever the elements that is being sent by source system may not be understandable by our target system in the current SAP is different language SAP Siebel is different language so there should be some common common broker there should be some common broker that common broker has to do some work by sitting in between right by doing but by sitting in between it has to perform some logic okay some logic. Hello. yes hi nitya puja here i hey, just want hi, to puja. you have connected since, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, since when you have connected? Uh, it's like only two minutes, just when I kept the message. Okay, so the, there is a problem, some link here. I'm not understanding this guy. Yesterday told like he will be sharing a new thing. I just waited, but it's uh, again to the old one I have connected. Okay. Uh, are we going to close uh, by 30 minutes? Is yeah. It, yeah. Oh, yeah 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 i will close okay i know like uh, fine yeah i will give like uh, only basic high level okay if i if it is required one more class we will be we will take okay the, the, no problem anyhow tomorrow and after tomorrow time is there now so yeah i will sort out this issue as well parallelly okay yeah, yeah. okay yes okay so what i'm trying to say is like data view is nothing but uh uh, mess it is a it is just like a broker you know it is just like a broker I, I it is like in between two systems it has to perform the communication it has to perform the communication between two systems so from one system it is just like transform activity in our in our uh, sova so for transform activity we have the capability of uh, uh, loading like many functions right if you say if you see the string functions if you see like some uh, whatever the functions lookup functions dvms and everything so what not so everything is feasible with the transform message in that product but in the same way here also in the mule in the mule soft it is it is also a kind of transform activity only having with some inbuilt functions okay having with some inbuilt functions the only difference is like in mule 3 it is something like version 1.0 is only there but in mule 4 it is something like 2.0 version it is just like when version is increasing there will be some add-on things add-on things in the sense functions wise dvms functions wise string functions wise whatnot like uh, every everything will be upgraded and updated okay the worst thing with mule 3 is actually so data we've actually if we speak now it for data we've actually normally we will be doing everything in any point studio right we will be doing any everything in any point studio in other technologies also it is something like in that particular ide we will be we will be doing the transformations but uh, 
with this the advantage with mule 4 not with mule 3 mule 4 is like even not only in any point studio even in the like uh, even in we have like data view playground so even normally like if you want to run any logics that logics like uh, in this playground also we can take or we can do some samples okay why because you see my any point studio is like heavyweight sometimes it may be down but you want to do some similar like a similar kind of logic just logic implementation you want to have immediate like try then this portal helps a lot so playground is something which is not which is which is not there in other products in other products definitely see transformation or whatever the apis or whatever the thing in that a in that uh, any point studio only we have to do or in that particular eclipse or j developer or whatever there only we will be doing the advantage with this fellow is like even it has some ui only for data we even only for only for data we even ui is also there where we can build like small logics so immediately for example in my project only some logic i want to check so um, i have to turn a very big api in between some uh, only for one feed i want to apply some logic so what i will be doing uh, like like for implementing it I, I i have to do two things either i have to run whole project I have to run whole project. I have to modify that only one element. I have to redeploy it. I have to test it. Normally in other products or uh, other technologies or whatever. What we have to do first, uh, project wise only, we will be going it. Definitely, if any dependencies are there in that project, we can't even go to that level as well. Right? Even we can't go to that down level as well. That is the problem with other products are other technologies but uh, this fellow especially in mule for in mule 3 also mule 3 transformation you will not be having this type of ui that is for sure and this is something like certification question as well but he will be giving some indirectly he will be giving indirect things okay he will be giving indirect things definitely the answer is no for data v 1.0 there is no option like we will be checking on the ui definitely we have to run mule 3 that is nothing but any point studio 6 version and we have to drag and drop our transform message and we have to do some logic and we have to implement and we have to close so we don't have other than that option we don't have any other option but in mule 4 especially with the data view second version this ui is in place if i want to do any small logic yes you can do it see here you can do it like you have everything everything available here small things if you want to implement yes happily you can implement so for example data view one i have one i have one thing like yes this is the json okay my voice is echoing okay see this is the message if I, if i want to do some logic if i want to check something yes it is a better option i could say see if i see like payload i can do that so small small logics any field level particular logic if you want to implement better to opt with this you ui so may most of the people doesn't know like this type of one ui is there so always they will be depending on studio so which is not required that is what see payload so obviously see you could able to see here any smaller logics you can use this portal okay so uh, as a freshers and as a like uh, you are very new to these things right you are very new very new to this so better is like practice here only so that you no need to open not even your studio okay that is one quick update okay meanwhile let me open my studio as well okay right so this excel sheet is something like it is like bible okay i have created this excel sheet and for everyone it will be like easy so to json to java normally we will be seeing it see normally if i want to convert it to into any json yeah this is the json format json to json format is very easy now I am speaking about the conversions, JSON to JSON, JSON to Java, JSON to XML, JSON to like how the things will go. Okay, how the things will go, let, let's discuss on that. Okay, so JSON to JSON, it is fair enough. We know that JSON, if any particular element, if you want to display, yes, you can go only name you want. You can directly like payload dot, see name is not there. 
name is not there the varash thing is like even though if that element is not there even with this ui also one problem is there see name is not there it has to throw an error to be frank it has to throw an error like that element itself is not there but it is showing as null okay so if i ever everything you like not, not yeah. is it now the same case with you i'm clear no no i am clear you are clear right i think puja i think you may connect from mobile otherwise might be some microphone she is able to hear very clearly i don't see any issue from netwise as well okay. you do one thing you can connect from mobile otherwise it will be like free yeah yeah sure sure okay okay i'll stop for two minutes until you join so is that okay no i think we can uh, we can continue like this only uh, i have removed okay. the headphone okay tk chalo fine so if anything is there, definitely it has to throw that is the problem with mule as well mule is something like definitely it is advantageous language according to the uh, uh, license wise but few few cons are also there okay so see if any error is there it has to throw an exception it should not show as null why why because this element itself is not present but even then we have to keep that aside just keep in mind like uh, yes if any error is there with that element it will not display that is for sure just keep that at, in mind while you are developing your apis okay and payload dot f name this f name is something like whatever the value here if any if single element you want yes you can do that any concatenation you want to perform plus plus is something like concatenation like any what not anything we can do okay anything we can do like i want to add this payload okay payload dot something like l name i want to keep yes l name you can see see even though if you are doing it still it is showing only the values okay so i think it is not updated let me run once again let me give some space let me give some concatenation okay give me some space it is not an array why it is dying okay addition it is performing even though it is strings it is performing some addition array inside array it is coming with one plus see the output see the observation so it is a plus is something array, hmm. output no. is array only you know Ha, ha, no, 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 not it. It's see, I am giving like multiple, right? Here, array is given, so output will be obviously in that only, right? Yeah. Okay. One thing what you have to observe is like if I am giving plus, what is happening? See, if I am it is giving not plus, concatenation. This not see plus is not concatenation, right? Plus plus is concatenation. Yeah. Plus is like yes. mathematical. So see, you're uh, you're going to you're going for certification, right? So that, like this type of questions only like minor questions that it, they will be asking. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if plus is there, even though it is strings, in other technologies, what it happens is like it just happens and it just leaves. Okay. So if you take the case of SOA only, if you are keeping like plus, it at, at least it will not uh, uh, the error will be thrown if you remember properly. right if you are keeping two strings if you are adding with plus definitely first it first of all it does not allow it right it does not allow it shows like okay string concatenation is not possible that kind of message at least we could able to see it but in mule everything is possible with every operation operator as well so it is something like flexible so if some of the target system needs the way like uh, uh, array inside array like uh, they need it yeah event plus operator will work work for that so we don't know the requirement of target system if they really requires in this way yes even the plus operator is going to work okay now let me add concatenation concatenation should happen yes 
it is concatenating but in array it is concatenating okay why it is showing like this see if i am payload plus payload just to total payload i am adding if i want to store this value in full name let us take in this way oh it gonna okay fine let me take one element okay just you have to play with this otherwise you will not be knowing it okay and this is the thing payload dot say this is concatenation yeah okay if at all i'm removing this okay array inside array it is coming if i, I am removing this what is happening see see the observation so if you are keeping like a single element then it is performing concatenation plus plus is nothing but concatenation if at all i'm keeping like an array what it is treating is like multiple records multiple records it is thinking like multiple records and it is trying to add array inside array so these are all like some observations you need to observe okay so every product is having its own uh, behavior so if at all i'm going with this yes see so some systems require uh, their details first name last name address location everything in a array comma separated some systems is expecting then you, you you can do like this okay so if at all you are going with minus see i am removing the square brackets if at all i am going with minus discriminator okay it's not working that means on strings definitely this will not work definitely we have that comparator but it that works only with integers it will not with it will not work with strings so whenever you are going for any certification questions like that silly silly things only they are going to ask okay so if, I, if i am keeping only single hyphen so what it is expecting you call the function k mitya which is which is of, of string type right which is of string type but it expects one of the combinations that means either it should be an array or it should be in date format or it should be an object string or it should be like any any of this structure is valid but whatever the structure you have given string string and this operator is not going to work okay so if i am keeping into just keep it just observe what it is going to happen so into is normally for what between numbers only it will work we know that we know that very clearly that okay at least plus plus or plus sometimes we will be using uh, for strings as well but for multiplication is something like always it will be like uh, in between numbers only we will be doing that we are very pretty much clear so for strings when you are applying that operator when you are applying that operator that number number operator it gives the information like it is number and i am not going to do anything do for go for division or go for percent type the same things so in your certification questions like it will be like error out or some outputs they will give we have to recognize that okay or slash also we can give even slash is also specially by and multiplication is only for in between numbers right we are very very clear on that right these two they will they, they, they will give this type of error and other plus plus and minus 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 is something like invalid definitely it will not work the only thing is like plus plus operator and plus operator when you are when single record is there how it is behaving when array is there how it is behaving we have to recognize okay are you clear on this operators wise operators wise, when we are applying between two strings clear right okay now slowly we will move so if at all if i want to if at all if i want like i want to convert into an xml 
then what is the strategy? What is the strategy if I want to convert this into an XML? Okay, so anyhow, this is the wrong thing. Let me re remove this and let me keep like plus plus only. Now I will get an output for a single record. If multiple records, if you are going, if you are going to perform, try to apply like map operator. That is fine. Anyhow, for multiple records, already we have seen like books and bulk insert in that map operator only we have used it, right? So see, this is now this one I want to convert into an XML. Then how? If it is like JSON, very well and good. Output we are, we are able to see it. If it is Java, this is also well and good. It is something like key value, key value pairs, right? It is key value pairs as it is Java. So the full name, the full name is appending in braces. Like for full name is equals to whatever the data we are coming, we are able to see it. This is also fine. I am keeping as Java. See, observe one thing, observe one, one important thing. If I'm keeping like JSON, see here automatically the JSON is getting converted. If I'm keeping like Java, like Java automatically it is converting, right? Right, if I am keeping like XML, what is going to happen? It is working like full name. In that full name, it is keeping like this, right? It is keeping like this, but if you try this in your, if you try this in your uh, any point studio, definitely it gives some error. Lesser than 7.15 or even with 17 or 15 also, we can see that. Okay, studio is not opened yet. Oh, let me open my studio. It says like, hey, keep some root element. Definitely throws an exception in studio. Okay, so let me create. I'll try to create the latest thing. Well, let me launch. The workspace, it is like corrupted, it seems. Okay. Fine. So meanwhile, you will see. See, but I have a requirement. Okay, if I am sending like this, if I am sending like full name, only one element is we are sending it. See, if I am sending like another element, like first only first name. payload dot f name let me keep comma right why it is failing does anyone have answer for this see when with single thing when it has worked with single thing it has worked right let me remove this. Okay. Single thing it worked. Right? When I am adding any other element to this, right? X one extra element I am adding. It is throwing an exception. What could be the reason? See. Semicolon is expected. Okay. I have no, given semicolon. Why? The reason is why. <laughs> See, one element it is working fine. See, this type of questions will come in certification. I'm saying now, very, very like minor. It see, it is very minor, but uh, the answer of these questions is something tricky as well. Okay. Yes. So, what is the thing is like every XML element only with one element means that is fine. Root right? element. Root element is missing. XML. So we are learning from our childhood, like XML always starts with root element. So for giving the root element, this is how the process is. Okay. So if I am giving like this, under root element of employee, employee, we are getting the details. So it is nothing but XML always expects root 
element. Okay. Okay, let it be. It is doing some thing. And I want to keep like employees underscore. Now, one more root element I want to keep. Then how you are going to do? Employees, again, increase C. Type with your hand only, then only you will be knowing it. Okay. Let's see. Now, again, I want, along with employee details, I need some address values as well right address value so what i'll try to do so e a d d r e s s address again i'll try to keep okay Okay, yeah, it is wrong now. XML will not allow. See, after employee, after employee, after employees, I want to have address. Give some time space. Same thing, copy paste. Okay, the same type place. Somewhere it has to sit, right? Some actually some experience and some see address so you should be very careful while you are giving this braces okay so this first brace is for closing the employee and this second is for closing this address inside this address again any number of elements you can add it okay you can add city okay city R city, let me add like HYD. Okay, see. So it is nothing but when open and close braces are very, very important when we are dealing with XML. So, like this, see you know, if any this structure is needed by target system, any critical, any critical structure. Yes, we can build it. The problem is that the, you should be very careful with your braces okay okay the time is 9 30 as puja suggested i will not go beyond beyond this okay My if, if, uh, if uh, nitya are you ready uh, to take it or now is also fine then we can go ahead for a few more minutes okay okay that's fine i'm okay with that okay yeah so this is how any critical so well, what is this is like hyderabad now if I want to have country, okay, you can keep this country as like country is city is something like Warangal and it is like some T E L or Telangana or something something else. Okay, I'm keeping the country. See for each employee, these are all the 
details we can fit so any complicated thing we can do it see if i have a requirement like city and country are common to for every for uh, like for all the employees for all the employees see this is one record one employee record in the same way i could have i could have multiple records okay multiple records i can have okay let me keep if i keep this let me keep like okay and i'm trying to give like this what is going to happen say what it is happening under employee double times it is repeating so what you have to do we have to think with our brain and we have to keep a loop in such a way that it has to come one 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 employee after another employee okay so if i am keeping like this that loops when map operator i am explaining at that time i'll do that but yes this is like heads up okay see so uh, this is repeating twice the same thing it is getting and inside this it is going why because we have not applied any loop over here so it is just taking like whatever is there it is treating like a single object and it is like it is coming like this but this should not be the case if two records are added that is what your homework case if two records are added i need in such a way that two employees records i need to get so think that think that think that in your way but definitely like uh, while i'm teaching like maps and everything we will be discussing it but definitely think at least keep your brain work for some time okay so for now what i'll try to do i'll try to remove multiple records okay when you are using like multiple definitely it will be erroring out okay fine so i will think i will think in such a way that now i have employees like many employees are there but for them the city and country are common city country state or country are common okay so if that is the case do i need to write that many times is there any uh, can we write reusable code in dv in dw that is nothing but data view so is there any option like writing reusable code that we have to think see varangal i have written this i have written again i will be having one more one more one more tab okay one more tab so for example so for at least like employees also we can take uh, no problem in that this braces we have to think multiple times okay what well, let me remove it think in that way okay i'm giving one business case scenario multiple employees are there all those employees state is same orangal and country is also same in that case that many times will you repeat it will you repeat varangal and telangana is it a right approach you are getting you are getting my problem case right you are understanding yes. my problem case yes see so that many for that many employees the same thing writing state and country um, same thing is not like uh, suitable right so in that cases we will be going with a concept called variables so variable here you can define your city here you can give whatever you want and so what i mean to say is like not only it will be okay not only in studio the variables even even in data view also we can declare variables okay still okay fine now we can assign those values so 
let's replace variable quotations we have to keep okay even a single space creates a problem over here xml okay whatever we are declaring at the top here we can declare it i think some syntax error we are doing wrong so whatever the variables here we will declare that variable names we can give in that way like we can define once and we can reuse many times but let me check if we are doing some mistake I think this XML should be down. Okay. Something is missing, something, something is missing. Is it colon or? I think it's colon. So, these versions will confuse a lot. Let me give double quotations. Hey, why it is not working? Problem also, it will not state that is another headache. Let me refresh. Syntax is correct only I'm giving. That is double, what I'm giving. Double equal to will not come. Only one. Hold on, is also another. something it has to work now. At least something it has to work. Do we need to declare them? Yeah, we can declare. They're inside. Yeah, we can declare. Yes, we can declare. <laughs> no. No, no, inside as in below output or outside output only. Let us check that. Sometimes this this also will not work properly. Outside of XML. Otherwise, we will try to keep like JSON. So, whatever the case is, at least it has to work. No. Strange thing is like <laughs> something it has to work now. Z. Okay. This may not be correct. Definitely, this will not be correct. XML output XML. We are outputting this one. Okay, we are saying like hey output this one as XML. Inside XML variables declaration, definitely it is not allowed as far as I know. But why it is not taking? Okay. No, something, some weird behavior. Okay. No problem. So whatever is about about those uh, dotted lines no, is the not. header, right? Header, header, header part actually below it. This is the right way. I'm saying now, this is right thing. But why it is not taking that I'm a uh, little weird on that. There equals to okay. Got it, got it. Here, <laughs> fine. I very silly mistake we are trying to do. It is equals to okay. Uh, Nitya, I think we need to declare those below XML only without any any comma. No, no, no. That. Yeah, please try to declare. Uh, to change. Enter another variable. 
wait, wait, wait. Now, see. It's giving. Some, see, if I remove it, it is working. Wait. Okay. And one more thing is there are two slash I can see there should be three slash right. Uh, it is gone during my this thing. Can you remove the comma now Wait. after Hyderabad? No, it is some weird behavior here. Yeah. It should not work like this. Something weird is going on. I think I fresh trap you can take it. But yeah, it is correct. See, as far as I know, under not like under XML, we will be declaring. See, this is this XML indicates that, hey, whatever the output is there below, please uh, give that in XML. So after declaring yeah. that creating variables is not a thing. Why? Because it, while if we are keeping like that means inside XML, we are declaring the variables, which is against, right? Uh, variables should be like examples, And they have declared it under under the under the uh, data type version, only, like output yeah it depends on version whether 1.0 or 2. Point. First of all 1.0 will not work but yeah both we have tried now nah? see if that is the case we tried both right see this we are trying right see country C O U N okay if I keep see, this is like an example this. I'm pasting here ah, in the see. chat yeah yeah I got your point what you're trying to say yeah, I got it. I have seen it. So, so many things we will write, right? So I understood that. But see, both the cases, it is not working, right? Correct, correct. Yeah. So we will see that. We'll do one thing. In Turia, we, yeah, something weird. Sometimes uh, even this playground also behaves weird behavior. See, both, see, something it should work, right? Mm -hmm. Either one way or the other way, it has to work. But both, it is not working. So that, that means some, th some problem it is going on. That's okay, no problem. Okay, we will see the same thing in our studio. Okay, in our studio as well. Then we will get one conclusion. Okay, okay, fine. We will try to connect tomorrow, same time. A link first, I will take the clarity. At least today only I will speak with him. Otherwise, this is the same link. We will try to connect it. Okay, okay, Nitya, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the guy. I'm not sure he is not responding. I'll... Yeah, tomorrow we'll be there. Okay, please. We will try to pre give that data be complete uh, this thing. Okay, any clarifications on your certifications? I think I have shared the dumps right. So please go through it. So <laughs> don't stick on that. If anything is there, just go with your options. Okay. When you are planning to write? Actually, I was planning to write that uh, tomorrow. I haven't yet scheduled it. But then I think uh, you said like uh, there are two more classes. So yeah, I'm oh, okay. After Sunday, week. you can uh, yeah, plan yeah. for next, next well, week. Like these silly things only will be there. Na? Right. But then, Nitya, did you hear from anybody like uh, recently who have given the certification? They have observed a new... Uh, uh, set of new questions, questions huh? new set of questions. Can you can you check it once again with somebody who, who whom you know? Oh, okay, okay. I will cross verify, but I'm not sure. But any, recently, as in this November fine. only, I heard mm -hmm. it from some, some of the uh, blogs and uh, groups. Uh, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah, but your from practice is also saying, yeah, see, see, practice it like where loop especially like data views lookups and uh, when you're going for certification exception handling scatter gather so some topics are there where we have to stress okay so be prepared yeah. like if uh, see where if even though if they changes questions only like minor change that will not be that will not catch our brain okay mm -hmm. only some slight changes nothing like uh, completely new okay some slight changes, okay. but anyhow, I'll try to cross verify. Okay, if somebody has written yeah. it. Okay, yeah, okay, sure, Nita. Thank you for that. Okay, Archello. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye.